In today's YouTube video, I'm going to be showing you how to maximize your FPS in Valorant. You'll see fantastic returns from this, and it is a little bit different to my other videos. In the past, I have done an updated graphics video showing you how to get your game to look the nicest and also increase FPS. Both people in the comments, everyone in the comments has found that that has worked. However, for those of you who really need that FPS and only the FPS, today I'm going to be showing you how to three times your FPS. I'm not going to be prioritizing your game looking nice, I'll still be able to give you competitive advantages such as actually being able to see the enemies, I'm also going to keep that in mind, but you will get maximum FPS if you don't care about your graphics or what the game looks like. So if this video does help you out, be sure to drop a like on the video, subscribe, and also I do have a Patreon page where you can support me to keep making more videos. There's a link down below. First off, you're going to want to open your settings and go to the general tab. You then want to scroll down and go to show mature content. You want to have this to turned off. Now what this will do is it will set both the two settings that drop out below it to off. Now what you want to do here is you want to make sure that you have blood off and also you have corpses off. Corpses on the ground can create a little bit of FPS drop when you use it or simply scroll by it or simply try to res someone. And it also makes it easier to res people so it gives you that competitive advantage too. Blood again it will reduce your FPS, you can turn it off and it will give you that advantage. After that you're going to want to move over all the way to your graphic settings and here you want to turn every single option off and I mean every single one. Put it on low or put it to off. There are certain things here that will cost you some FPS that can also make your game look nicer but of course you're not here for that you're here for maximum FPS. You'll still be able to see enemies clearly and take them out you'll get a lot more FPS though and if you do want to have a look at what settings you can turn on to make it look better as well I do have a card for that video in the top right. However, there's one thing to mention. If you have an NVIDIA graphics card, you can go ahead and turn on for the bottom setting that you see on your screen. Now, I want you to move over to the next tab in your graphics setting menu. You'll see the next tab here, and this is what it will look like. Now, there's a few different settings that are crucial here. What I want you to do is go ahead and take a look at your windowed or full screen mode. You should always be on full screen mode. If you're on windowed or whatever or not full screen it's going to be decreasing the amount of fps you get and it's also a nuisance to have you always want to be locked in and not making sure your cursor isn't going over to your second monitor and pressing alt and enter can get you into that full screen mode too and it can also help you reset it or double check it if you need to and make sure the resolution is 1920 by 1080 we're not going anything caveman like here we are sticking with the normal thing and rock that now the settings below can make this fps really 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 good but we're going to leave them till last because it's actually very important to do that we want to make sure we've minimized every other fps and get every little bit of drop of fps that we can be getting so before we go over to them we have to make sure we focus on the other ones i'll get to it really quick now you want to move over to your main audio tab and come into this little sub tab that i'm in right now you'll see a few options here now just simply copy the options that I've got on my screen right now, selected and unselected. In fact, I believe most of these apart from one will be completely off. And the reason being and what these settings actually are because the names are a little bit of confusing and weird is that these settings are actually in-game little customization things that no one really cares about. You can have your sprays, you won't see them if you turn this setting off. And also you can make sure that the little agent character lines that they do the cringy ones that no one cares about that are also really annoying to hear you can turn them off too and any tactical call outs that the team can use through that little menu with the buttons and the numbers that will also be off too you still see in the text chart so you don't need to worry now why are we doing this well it actually gives you fps believe it or not turning off those annoying voice lines and everything like that the sprays give you a little bit more of juice and well we need every little bit of juice of fps that we can get now remember those cheeky settings I mentioned before, go back to them. Video, general, you'll now be in the right tab. Now we're going to go through these. First off, I want you to check how much FPS you have. Go into a custom game or go into a regular deathmatch game is probably best. Or maybe even an unrated game because that's a realistic situation. In, in deathmatch you have a lot more people so the FPS might be worse. So go into an unrated game, play it out real quick, just have some fun or a comp game, whatever. Your FPS will be great, trust me. And then see what the FPS is going to be. You can go into your video settings and your stats settings to turn the client FPS on. So you can actually check what it is going to be. Now, the reason why I don't tell you to go into a custom game is because it's a little bit different with that. However, go back and note it down what it is. For me, it might be 300, 200. For you, it might be something similar. 
Then I want you to go into the settings menu that I'm on right now. You want to go ahead and set your limit FPS and battery to 60. It doesn't really matter. Uh, limit FPS in menus 144 because you don't want it to be um, running too much in the menu. 144 is more than enough. Then you want to go ahead and head over to your background. 144 again, perfectly fine. You don't want it to be running too much when it's in the background as well. You can even turn it down if you want. Now here's the key setting. Go over to your limit FPS always and make sure that is turned on. And your max FPS always is going to be turned on to whatever it needs to be. A lot of you will have the problem where you have good FPS, but you get massive frame drops. Now frame drop is when it goes from 200 FPS to 100 FPS in a millisecond, which causes quite a bit of lag. So you want to set this to whatever suits you. You'll, you'll be able to tell if you have frame drops and you'll also be able to tell what your peak is. I would always recommend setting it at your peak and whatever that average amount will be. For example, if you peak at 150, just go ahead and set it to 144. It's a nice number and you won't really need more than that. And I'd also recommend it even if it, uh, you're not getting any frame drops, just so it's a stable number and you're not hitting that peak every time. Because a frame drop could happen here and there. If you are having frame drops, make sure to go below what your peak is. Go to the average amount or the lowest amount. If you're going to be running at about 100 FPS, you want to get as much FPS as you can out of that, so don't set it too low. If you're at 300, 200 FPS, you're fine whatsoever. Just avoid every frame drop. You really want to hit this max FPS to whatever your peak is or the little 10% under the peak. If you hit it 10% under the peak, it'll prevent any frame drops. And if you have a lot of frame drops, you want to go another 10% and another 10% until they completely stop. If you don't have any, you can risk it and go for the full amount. Perfectly fine. It's your call. So I hope this video has helped you out. And if it did, be sure to drop a like on the video, subscribe, and also click on the video on your screen right now if you want to go ahead and take a look at the tier list of the best agents in Valorant. I do stream on Twitch. Link down below.